When I was living that summer in uh, Italy, I, before going to Trieste, I was living in Milan for six weeks, and I moved. Uh, I moved in. Um, I was working at a publishing house as an intern in, in Milan, and I moved in with a colleague at the office. Uh, who invited me. I didn't really have a place to stay, and he said I could stay at his house, and I didn't really know what the terms would be, but uh, I needed a place to stay. So I ended up sleeping on his uh, fold-out chair in his living room, but he per he didn't uh, he didn't want anything from me. He was just being a very generous guy, and uh, we became friends, and we had a lot of shared interests. He was an editor at this, pu young editor at this publishing house, and he couldn't speak English very well, but always wanted to practice his English. And I couldn't speak Italian that well, but always wanted to practice my Italian. So we would have conversations in which he would try to speak English, and then I would try to speak Italian, or I would try to speak back in a kind of pidgin English, uh, dumbed-down English, so that I, I was not really speaking either language, and he was neither speak, speaking either language. And we didn't really know what each other were saying at all, but we felt like we really sort of got it in some way. and, and we would you know, tell jokes and, and tell stories, and, and we felt like we got along really well. And, um, but we were never really sure, probably on a deeper level, if we, what we were saying made any sense. And uh, that, that kind of, that informed a lot of the book. And that, that, that for me, was it dramatized what um, is a thing I encounter a lot in my life, which is just uh, inarticulacy <laughs> and trying to speak to other people and trying to people trying to relate to each other and communicate and and the ways in which they're constantly thwarted by language and and sentences and words and how um, language you know complicates and distorts uh, real sentiment and real feelings um, and yet there's the deep human desire to nevertheless reach out to other people and communicate and the tension between those things uh, was fascinating to me, and that's a motif or an idea that I I think is is there in every page of the book. Um, for me, that's a big part of what the book is about.